What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to explore what you can do with your Matabo HPT multivolt tools if you, like me, only have one bar left on your battery and you have some heavy duty work to do. Now, I'm going to preface this and say that I don't know that this would be the best solution for a tool this size. But if you were to be on the multivolt platform and you were running larger SDS Plus, SDS Max, motor saws, things of that nature, this accessory for that platform could really open some new doors in the world of cordless. You're gonna to wanna to stick around and check this out. It's coming right up. What we have here is Matabo's 36 volt AC DC power adapter for multivolt power tools. What this really is, is a battery adapter pack type thing that turns these portable tools into a corded tether unit. The only thing that I have to say is, that's a bummer, is that instead of just being, you know, a corded tool, you also have this transformer down here. So do I think this is optimal for something like this? Probably not, but like I said, for SDS Max and SDS Plus, table saws, motor saws, maybe even circ saws. This is a 20 foot cord. This might be a good solution. But Matabo HPT is saying as a technician, craftsperson, tool operator, whatever you are, you'll know when to use something like this over the battery. And quite frankly, I think it's, it's really good to have the options. I've said this time and time again, that batteries have an infinite lifespan. You're only going to get so many charge and discharge cycles out of these batteries. So if you have the option of going corded, why not? Especially on tools that are higher demand, require higher consumption of power. Why not go the corded route if you can? I think this is pretty awesome what they've done here. Matabo HPT, I see what you did here. I see what you did. Specifications, rated output, 36 volts to 25 amps. Cord length, 20 foot. Convenience, allows 36 volt cordless tools to operate as corded tools with little to no power loss. Why would there be any power loss though if it's plugged in, I don't get it. Just saying, it's a little confusing. All right. Whoa. In case you're wondering how we got our hands on this nifty power adapter, I want to say thank you to Acme Tool for sending it over. Pretty cool. Now, put that there. I'm gonna put this here. Whew. I gotta tell you, it smells industrial. We have the instructions. You're gonna to wanna to read these from page to page before using this with your Metabo HPT tools. I went over this earlier, okay? So, I'm gonna refer to them if I need to later. Now, we have our cord, and I'm wondering if, this is a nice length of cord here to the power brick. I'm wondering if the 20 foot that they're talking about is overall, or if it's from the power brick to the power adapter. 
I think we should measure that. Okay. I will say this. If we look here, you look like you got almost like, I don't know, six foot to the power brick. So you're looking at, right now, from end to end, we're looking at roughly eight feet. Okay, now let's undo this end. Okay, you got like four foot. So you got eight, 16. So you have about 20 foot from the plug end to where the cord enters the power supply or power adapter, whatever you want to call this. Okay, so the thing is, is that is it 20 foot of, of usable? usable cord I suppose that it is but for some reason you needed to use all 20 foot of your cord you, you could be lugging this transformer around I, I don't know I'm not saying it's just saying I, I think I would rather subtract Six and a half feet off of that, okay? And say you have about 14 foot, 13 and a half foot of usable cord so that this could rest on the ground, okay? And you're using the cord from the transformer to this battery slash adapter. Now, let's see if there's anything else on here we need to Note, I do like that you can tell, you can tell that this adapter is made to last. I'll say that. You got nice thick cord, okay? This is SOW cord, okay? It's rated to 90 degrees Celsius and 600 volts, but it is SOW cord. It's 16 gauge, and that is on the adapter side after the voltage has been transformed. Now on the inlet side we have SJ cord. Pretty cool. So it will be resistant both types of cord, the SO and the SJ cords. They're both resistant to a lot of things on the job site. I will say they're both strain relieved which is pretty cool. It will keep from you know, wear in this area. Hopefully it will relieve some of the strain on the cords with these strain reliefs. At the adapter, you can see that this actually has a pivoting point here. I would love to see what's on the inside of this. I will say from what I'm seeing, and you might not be able to see it, but I sure can see it, this Adapter is fan cooled on the interior. I think we should get this thing plugged in and see what it does. If it lights up, makes any noises, bells, whistles. And we're going to plug it in here to our power, power strip. Let's see what it does. DOA. So... I saw a little flicker of light come on here. So this little light briefly illuminated, went off real quick. This is in case of an error. We have, we have a flashing light here. I don't know what that means. Well, so now that flashing green light turns steady green. Let's see if there's any audible difference in, from the tool. Whoa, I will say this. And this battery only has one bar. Wow. I wonder if there'll be an audible difference 
after that battery is actually fully charged. I will say this, this fan's not running yet. Probably only comes on under extreme load. But I'm noticing a big difference. And if you like being able to notice a big difference from your power tools, then smash the like button. Also, if you like the idea of having options, cordless corded from the same power tools, smash the like button, because I love it. Get subscribed and tap the bell notification. Because you know what? We're gonna have some preliminary tests coming up with this Matachi. I mean Hatabo. No, I mean Matabo HPT. You know, you could be part of them by letting us know down in the comments section below what type of test you want us to run with this new tool. No, really, leave them down below in the comment section. We want to know. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. It's not ideal for this tool. It can be used, right? It's just like, oh, let me situate my cord. I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck they did here. This doesn't go in. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications throw. What? You're not subscribed yet. Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.